the bench press. My ranking might surprise you here. It offers high tension on the pecs as long as you bring the bar all the way down to your chest. It's very easy to overload and you can always add some weight over time as you get stronger. It feels good to me, although many people do complain that the bench press makes their shoulders feel a little cranky. I suspect that's because they're trying to lift more weight than they should be lifting, but I still hear the issue commonly enough that I do count it as a slight negative. So if it were just me, I think I'd probably put the bench press in S tier. I credit most of my own pec development to this exercise. However, it is true that the barbell won't allow the pecs to get in quite as deep of a stretch as dumbbells do since it'll come up solid against your rib cage. And based on my coaching experience, not everyone gets as much pec activation out of the bench press as I do. So for that reason, I'm gonna hesitantly drop it back to A tier. The incline bench press has all the same upsides as the flat bench press, except it slightly emphasizes the upper pecs. Now, a lot of people think this means it isn't as good for the mid and lower pecs as the flat bench. However, a recent study found that the incline bench press caused the same lower and mid pec growth as the flat bench did, plus better upper pec growth. 